Greetings this Wednesday morning. It is the 10th of August. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. Delighted to pray with you this day. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy and justice in you, O Lord. I will sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have haughty look and proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. Our scripture this morning is taken from the Gospel of John. Chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard Jesus in making and baptizing more disciples than John, although it was not Jesus himself but the disciple who baptized, he left Judea and started back to Galilee. But he had to go through Samaria, so he came to Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. And Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God who is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. And the woman said to him, Sir, if you have no bucket, and this well is deep, where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his sons his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of the water will be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I will give them will be never be thirsty. The water that I will give will be become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. And Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answered him, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband, for you have five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped in the mountains, but you say that the place we worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is here, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And the Father seeks such things as these to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And the woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called the Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. The word of the Lord. It's perhaps one of my favorite stories in the Gospel of John. I really like the dialogue between Jesus and this woman. 
and how the, it seems like two ships are passing in the night and yet um, in the end there's this sense of revelation the sense of discovery um, and I think of relationships of our own um, people who enter our life sometimes and surprisingly so um, end up you know at first glance it's somebody we may just pass by or not really even recognize but um, in taking the time to get to know someone um, sometimes we are surprised and revealing their truth their life um, and what a gift they can be to us Jesus invites this person again to look beyond the particulars of life like water and um, see the transforming presence of God right in their midst. You know, how often again do we get fixated on this life and its ends and its products rather than looking at the spirit of God which motivates it all and gives us life. May we recognize Jesus in our sisters and brothers, even in those people that we would be completely surprised to see such a revelation. May this gift be for us and even recognizing that spirit in ourselves. So let us pray for one another today. Grant to us, Lord, we pray the Spirit to think and do always those things that are right, that we who cannot exist without you, may you be enabled to live according to your will through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We pray for our sisters and brothers and members of the Reformed Christian Church in Serbia and Montenegro. Negro. Call act for, pre for peace. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread about your spirit that all people may be gathered under the banner of Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. We'll close today with the words for him, when morning gills the skies. When morning gills the skies, my heart awaking cries, may Jesus Christ be praised. Alike at work and prayer, to Jesus I repair, may Jesus Christ be praised. To thee, my God above, I cry with glowing love, may Jesus Christ be praised. The fairest graces spring in hearts that ever sing. May Jesus Christ be praised. When sleep her balm denies, my silent spirit sighs. May Jesus Christ be praised. When evil thoughts molest, with this I shield my breast. May Jesus Christ be praised. The night becomes as day when from the heart we say, may Jesus Christ be praised. The powers of darkness fear when this sweet chant they hear, may Jesus Christ be praised. Be this while life is mine, my canticle divine, may Jesus Christ be praised. Be this the eternal song through all the ages long, may Jesus Christ be praised. And may God's blessing fill you this day, open you to the possibilities of God's grace all around you, fill you, enrich your heart with his grace, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.